let me say this to you there are three people you must never joke with in your life no matter how stubborn you think you are this three set of people you must be real to them if not you are going down the first of them is your lawyer if you have a case in the court if you lie to your lawyer you will lose your case if you fight your lawyer in the court he will expose you number two is your doctor if you are sick in the eye and you told your doctor that your liver is giving you problem the next drug they will give you is death you must be specific about your problem to him so that he can help you and the God is your pastor the servant of God under whom you stay if you don't tell them the truth you might die and he will not know go and read second kings chapter 4 verse 1 when that woman came to the pastor say prophet my husband is dead he said you know my husband my husband is a son of the prophet but my husband is dead the prophet said who your husband is dead this man that died was a son of the prophet but you know his problem he was too pompous that he feel he can handle every situation himself as a pastor there are people that are under you that every time they feel they can handle every challenges themselves they will never come to you until the problem swallows them up this man died and the answer the war killed him this is the first time in the bible that hypertension is recorded heartbreak the man had heart failure <laughs> what killed this pastor is heart failure and the heart failure is because he was indebted he was owing he was owing he went and borrowed and used his children as collateral when he could no longer pay they came to collect the money he didn't know what to tell them hey hey okay, wake up he don't go the heart don't go and I love creditors if you like die your family will still pay that's why they collect collateral ask those who collect loans from bank even if you die your family will still pay because there is what they call a collateral that collateral transcends your death it was the children the man used the man died but my pain is this the answer to his poverty was in his house but he didn't know there are things that your prophet know about you that you never knew that's why when you come to them when you have privilege of staying with them tell them the truth open up my husband is dead I thought at the death of the husband the loan is written off and the woman went forward and said but the creditors have come again the same people who killed my husband they are here but this time I don't want to die like my husband please help me ladies and gentlemen two people did the same thing one died and the other was promoted the man borrowed and died and the prophet the first thing he said to the woman he said go and borrow And borrow vessels. What killed your husband is what I want to use for your rising. One borrowed and died. But you go and borrow. When it is prophetic instruction, it comes with solution. When it is prophetic instruction, it comes with solution. Although it might be what killed others, 
but as long as the word from the prophet is backing you up you are sure that you will leave the man borrowed and died the wife borrowed and became rich the difference is that prophetic instruction go and borrow vessels I could hear the woman say oh God my husband borrowed and died I now came and met you say I should go and borrow again I know they borrow again but she went again to the instructions and borrowed and the Bible says God so much blessed him or blessed her that the prophet said to her go and sell go and sell pay your debt and keep the rest for you read verse seven, 6 and 7 put verse 6 and 7 verse 6 2 Kings chapter 4 and verse number 6 and he came when the vessels were full that she said unto her son bring me yet another vessel and he said there is no more and then the oil stopped your oil will not stop I don't like the way you are saying your oil I say your oil will not stop in the name of Jesus and then verse 7 look at verse 7 this is where we still miss it not many people do verse 7 they stop in verse 6 that's why you see people rise and fall people rise and fall because they stop in verse 6 now here you are you met a servant of God who prayed for you and things are happening now the moment things begin to happen you become so busy that you don't give time again you didn't even go back to tell him to tell her this is where the church miss it today they only go for prayer they don't go to for testimony behind your success there is another instruction when God prospers you he's still waiting again the same place where you met him he's still there waiting 